going on guys lord here today guys are gonna be watching on how to speed up your pc video steven von wasn't able to upload because his internet's out so i'm gonna be uploading for him if you guys want to go check out my channel my links in the description right on that uh, enjoy the video what's going on guys lord here today i'm gonna be showing you guys five to six easy steps on how to increase your pc's performance these are all free they're on a windows system both 32 and 64 bit it doesn't matter what you have guys do enjoy this video and if this video does help you out make sure that like button right on that let's get right into the video all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is power options power options basically lets you control how much power you want your pc to use and of course the more power you let it use the faster it will be now what you want to do is right click on the windows icon go to control panel system security and power options and you're gonna want to make sure that it's set on high performance this makes your performance way better and uses more energy now however if you are on a laptop um and you're plugged in all the time this doesn't really matter but if you're on a laptop and you use the battery unplugged this will matter and will make your battery run out faster now something that i had to do on my pc which is an asus pc they have this other thing called like a power shell and this is where you have to change it and you get here by pressing this right here this arrow here and if you don't have the arrow i'll show you how to get there but there should be this ai charger 2 here you want to right open that up and once that opens up you're going to get to this here like this power area you're just going to click on power power manager and then you're going to want to set this to high performance now this is also where you could like set the sleep and the other stuff here too now what else what you could press to get here is um let's go here you could press alt control p and it'll open this up for you and you don't even need to go through this arrow i should have done that before why did i not do this why am i making a video if i don't know what i'm doing gosh amateur all right so next thing we're going to do is like uninstall some programs that you may not use there's a lot of programs that people have on their computer that they don't use anymore so it's better to uninstall these because they might be taking up your system's performance and making it slow down now you get to there by right click on the windows icon and go into control panel and uninstall a program as you can see i have a bunch of programs here i use most of them because i actually did delete uh some programs that i had that i didn't use anymore however i do have this american truck simulator that I don't play anymore so I'm just gonna uninstall that and as you can see it's already uninstalled so it's just gonna give me an error saying they're gonna remove the icon and I have a do Adobe <laughs> and then I have Adobe Premiere Pro which I don't use anymore so I can uninstall that too um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but basically what you do is just right click and uninstall so you're gonna want to take your time and go through these and you know see which ones you use and which one you don't use and delete the ones you don't use of course now this is a program actually that i'm going to show you guys next and it's called cc cleaner what it basically allows you to do is delete a bunch of stuff like your internet cache your internet history your cookies from all your browsers all at once so you don't need to go through them one by one uh, as you can see here it is um most of these are preset i didn't change any settings here um and you don't even need to buy this to use the full version most of it on the free version already has a bunch of stuff it's not necessary to buy the full version because the free version already has most stuff and you can also delete windows apps from here uh there used to be this windows app that would always take up my cpu so i just deleted it and no longer uh, you know affects my cpu so you guys can go through here and uninstall stuff you don't want anymore it's just like through uninstall a program except uh, just through cc cleaner now next thing we're going to do has to do with uh, temporary files on your system. What you're going to want to do is press Windows key R and this little run thing is going to come up here. If this doesn't come up for you for some reason, just click on the Windows thing and click and type run and this will come up and it's the same thing. And what you want to do is type percent temp percent and then this little folder will come up here and these are all temporary files that are on your PC that aren't being used anymore now these are mostly from your uh, you know your internet browser and other stuff that you use and like videos that you use or videos that you open up on your computer what you want to do is just delete all this I'm gonna press Control a and that selects everything and you're just gonna right click on your keyboard or not on your keyboard uh, just click delete on your keyboard or you could just right click and delete them all of course all right so next we're going to do is defragging and cleaning up our hard drives so what you want to do to get to your hard drive area is click on this file folder if, if that's not there just search up file file explorer and this will come up and what you're going to do is go to this disk pc and right click on your main disk you could do this on both your disks however i'm just going to do it on my main disk here what you want to do is right click and go to properties 
this little system thing is going to come up. First thing you want to press is this cleanup. However, if you run CC Cleaner before this, this cleanup already has happened, but you will still find some stuff. So here is like a bunch of stuff that you could choose. Like, look at this. I have seven gigabytes in my recycling bin that I haven't deleted. And I have temporary files, three megabytes. I'm going to unclick that because um, I already did it. Uh, delivery optimization. We could delete all of these because these aren't necessary anymore. So once we've deleted all these, we're going to clear up nine gigabytes. That's a lot of space for our, a small hard drive. Not for mine personally, but you guys might have like maybe 100 gigabyte, 40 gigabyte drives. And 9 gigabytes makes a real difference on your performance. So I'm just going to press OK and delete the files. And this this cleanup's just going to delete all of them real quick. Maybe not real quick. The recycling bin's pretty big, so it might take it a while. All right, so now that this cleanup is done, we're going to go over here to tools. And this is error checking. Now, sometimes your hard drive will like come up with errors. And once you error check, uh, it says you don't need to scan this drive. However, it's better to check it because some errors might have came up that the drive couldn't like see or anything. So I'm just going to let this scan. Most of the time, there won't be any errors. However, sometimes there is errors. So you're just going to want to clean out all those errors because it's going to improve your PC performance. All right, so my error checking is taking a really long time. So I'm just going to press cancel. However, if you are error checking, um, you might want to make sure that this is done because my PC is not really slow right now So I don't really need to do this. However, if your PC is slow, I recommend doing this All right, so next thing you can do is optimize and defrag normally your system will defrag uh, You'll know if it's defrag if it's a 0% defragmented uh, That means there is no frags in it and that's good now normally PCs will do this weekly and if you want to do it daily or if yours isn't even set, you're just going to press change settings here and it's going to run on schedule weekly and notify me if there's like consecutive runs or if they're missed or anything. And then you could choose what drives you want. It's doing it for all of mine. So you guys want to make sure that this is set on weekly. If not, your PC will really slow down. Next thing we're doing has to do with visual stuff, things that appear up on your computer. And what I'm saying is, well, you guys will see what I'm saying. It's a little bit confusing to say. But once I show you what it is, you'll, you'll, you guys will get what I mean. So how you want to get to where I'm talking about is right click on Windows, go to Control Panel, go to System and Security, go to System, and then go to Advanced System Settings here. And then next thing you'll see is this little pop-up here. And this pop-up has to do with performance. This is the main thing that you want to press. So we're going to press Settings here. On here it says Adjust for Best Appearance. That makes like, you know, put shadows under apps and stuff like that. However, if, you're, uh, if you want to make your PC speed up, you're just going to press custom adjust for best performance and that unclicks everything. However, you know, some of the things that I like are unchecked here. And if you want to like enable certain things and disable certain things, you're just going to click on custom and then choose the ones you don't want and then the ones you want. I'm just going to keep it on best performance because I like everything that comes with Windows. Well, that's been everything. Hopefully this did speed up your computer. I've done it many times and it really does keep my computer up to pace that it was when I first bought it. Because computers do slow down over time. But with these steps, this will speed up your computer. If this did speed up your computer, you know, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help. Share this with your friends who also always complain about having slow PCs. And remember to subscribe because I really like subscribers. Oh, 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 oh,